Thanks to Blazing Boost for sponsoring today's video. The reason why I vouch for Blazing and I am happy to have them as a sponsor is that I genuinely think they can help a lot of players in the community who just don't have time. Anything you guys are struggling with in Destiny, Blazing Boost will be able to provide it. Not only that, with the brand new DLC dropping Beyond Light, they've updated the services so they do have pretty much every single thing in the game if you guys are struggling to get it. Not only that, they do actually have brand new Deepstone Crypt Raid sort of runs that you guys can buy. And not only that, I have managed to actually get a €10 Euro discount, so there'll be a link in the description if you guys do want to sort of buy the Deepstone Crypt Raid. Use that link and you'll get a special offer, and obviously it'll make it cheaper for you guys. But not only that, this company is really good. I've worked with them quite a lot recently, and to be honest, I've had multiple reviews, not off random people, but people that have bought from my sort of code. I believe in their service, they're really nice as I speak with the management often, and they have over 9,000 reviews on Trustpilot with 5 stars. To be honest guys, it's definitely a company you should check out, even if you're not interested, just to see if there's anything that may take your fancy, and obviously you guys need help with. You can't go wrong, trust me. If you ever experience any issues, their support will be there, and they'll solve it for sure. But that's it. Hopefully guys check that link out, remember there's a deep stone crypt raid down below and not only that, make sure you check out other areas of the website and use the links down in the description. Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I've got a brand new Hunter PvP build. Now this build is one of my favourites and it's what I've used for a couple of seasons. Now I've tested out the new sort of abilities and everything, but I do feel like this is the strongest you can use in PvP. Now if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, drop a like down below. I just want to appreciate the support we've been getting on the channel recently, really do appreciate it. Now I know there's not that much content to cover with this new DLC, but I'm going to keep grinding out these videos and hopefully you guys do enjoy. So let's try and get 100 likes on today's build. So starting off with a build, we're going to be talking about the subclass. Now for me, I've always said that Spectral Blades are the best for the Hunter. And that's just because it's a super that you can do really well with. And to be honest, it's a good shutdown super as well if you can use it correctly. So the way I run this... Is I use vortex now sometimes I will swap to a void wall to be honest any grenade on this class is super overpowered and good now what I normally use and pretty much I recommend you guys to get used to this is gamblers dodge now I know marksman can be very handy because it does reload your weapons but for your sort of move maneuvering that sort of thing when you've got gamblers trust me you'll be able to win a lot more gunfights and get out of situations that you probably wouldn't with marksman's dodge for the jump I use triple jump now there is a reason for that and I've covered a full sort of guide on this so I will leave that in the end screen if you guys want me to. I think it's a shotgunning guide, but that is the reason why. And then Spectral Blades, the reason why I like this is because it's super really effective. And not only that, I quite like, obviously, the Vortex nades and everything about it. So what you get from this is you get a smoke bomb. Throw a smoke bomb from a distance with this melee ability. The smoke bomb slows enemies and damages them over time. Then you've got Shattering Strike. After performing a Flawless Execution, your melee attacks weaken enemies. Then you've got Flawless Execution. While Crouch Precision kills Grant Invisibility, True Sight and increased melee damage. To be fair, if you're a sniper, this class works really well. And then if you guys are new to the game, you may not even know what obviously Spectrals are. And it is summon a pair of Deadly Void Blades and stoke the battlefield in Veil of Shadows. Press RB to perform a quick melee attack and then press RT to perform a heavy attack and at once again vanish from sight. So you can go invisible with that super and get off the radar. So that is the class setup. Now, me personally, what I've been running is the Ace of Spades and the Dire with this, but any guns sort of work with this and i'll explain why so for me because i'm a sort of shotgunner i like to be up in people's faces so i pair it with a fell winters and a dire promise now if you guys are new to the game and you don't have a fell winters then try and get um something like the seraph shotgun i think you can still get the seraph shotgun so try and get that and then I've been using the war cliff. But to be honest, the weapons don't matter. If you have like a sniper you like to use, anything like that, sniping works really well with this class. 
now moving on to the stats what we do have guys is a standard build now i want to sort of increase this build because over time my stats have sort of started to decrease but you're going to want to run at least 100 mobility with this class setup and i'll show you why later on and then you want your recovery as high as possible so that you guys can get out of sort of gunfights really easily and quickly and then the rest of the stats don't really matter as much so for the exotic that we are running it is going to be the wormus crown basically dodging gives a small health and shield bump this is so overpowered now the reason why i said get high mobility is because if you look at this it says cooldown of your class ability increases your movement speed and match jumping height so pretty much every 11 seconds we will be getting a dodge so every 11 seconds which is pretty much every time you're going to be going into a gunfight you'll be able to dodge and get a bit of your health back to obviously get that advantage on your opponent we do have a mobility mod on that and then we do have shotgun targeting mods just to improve obviously the target acquisition accuracy and aim down sight speed for shotgun to be honest it's a really underrated perk in my opinion and it's definitely one you guys should try out moving on to the arms we do have grips of the exile which have a recovery mod on fastball so our grenades can go further and then we have shotgun dexterity definitely a must if you are a shotgunner obviously if you're a sniper as well you can just sort of put some sniper perks on so this build works for everyone faster ready and store speed for shotguns that means your shotgun's going to be ready a lot quicker than the average person when you're actually pulling it from a hand cannon to a shotgun now this is where the build sort of gets interesting and we do have unflinching hand cannon aim this is a must if you are running hand cannons if you're not running hand cannons it's not really that needed but reduces flinching is going to be needed especially on console pc it's not as much but if you're on console definitely run it and we have got a recovery mod on that now moving on to the boots because i do play controller i am running traction this basically means and i would recommend anyone that's playing on controller to run traction you've got a better sort of radius to move and it seems to be a little bit quicker in my opinion so that's why i run that and then we do have shotgun scavenger so obviously when we pick up some ammo we'll be getting more so we can go into more gunfights and that's got a mobility mod on so obviously get to 100 now i just want to say these stat increase mods like recovery and that just sort of build them to around about 100 mobility 100 recovery depending on your build now for this we have outreach reduces melee cooldown when using your class ability and then we do have powerful friends now powerful friends actually gives you plus 20 mobility if you have an arc mod so that is why we've got that on right there and we do have a recovery so that's a build guys it's a really good one now i just want to say i'm a low power because this is my sort of pvp build obviously and i've not upgraded it yet but trust me it's definitely a build you guys should try out let me know if it works for you as good as it does for me hopefully it does now that is it and as always i will catch you in the next one